Right, this is the current incarnation. Just cycling through a couple of times here now. I've got, um, you can see the humidity rising at night, which is around 30 during the day and then up to 53% at night. And the difference of about 10 millibars uh, between the estimated and the measured from the unit based on the my 84 meters being input in as my altitude for it to make its the BMP 180 to make reference measurements so to give a that estimate there is 20 meters down as the temp as the um, obviously as the pressure drops uh, or rises accordingly we'll get a change in your in the calculated altitude obviously But it's the GPS that's the problem still. Um, but it looks like our, that blog post um, nailed it really, that it can be plus or minus 30 meters out or worse uh, with GPS data for elevation measurements. Because obviously you think about it, you need a lot of um, satellites on the horizon. Uh, most of them are overhead, so you get a good two-dimensional uh, resolution from above but to get your height you're going to need a good few satellites to get an accurate height you're going to need a lot coming across the horizon for, um, horizontally towards you so that kind of makes makes a lot of sense now so in principle it would be good to uh, have a, a much taller and a better quality aerial one that's probably um, got a, a gain function that can be fed I've just uh, ordered one off Amazon that is actually fed, power fed by uh, between something like 2.5 to 3 and 3.8 volts or whatever from the GPS. So it's feeding a signal down the antenna that will then drive an amplifier on the actual aerial to be able to um, maximize signal. So we'll see how that works out.